Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I wanna show you guys how we can integrate Copilot with DFIR Iris. Now, Iris is our case management tool that our SOC analysts will use when it comes to investigating high severity alerts, such as alerts from our Wazoo Manager or firewall logs that are being ingested or Office 365 alerts, whatever type of alerting you have built into your Seam stack, that alert will come into Iris. Uh, we've kind of automated the process within Copilot as well. When a high severity Wazoo alert is detected, it will automatically create a alert within Iris. There is some configuration work that needs to be done for that. In this video, we're strictly interested in covering how to integrate Copilot with Iris, uh, which is very simple. I'm going to create a user for that Copilot will use to make verified API calls to Iris. So I'm gonna go ahead and select access control. I'm gonna go ahead and add a user uh, for name. I'll just say Copilot Demo. I'll just give it a login of Copilot Demo. I'll just say email copilot at sockfortress.co. That's a service count, meaning that uh, this login would not be able to log into the web UI of Iris. I'll say Copilot Demo. And then under my users, I'm gonna select my Copilot demo user. I'm gonna go into groups and I'm gonna select manage. I'm gonna say administrators. So Copilot does need the ability to create organizations, create alerts, update alerts. So it does need some escalated permissions. So I just assign it to the, to the group of, of administrators. And then under info, I can go copy out the API key. And this is what we're going to use to authenticate Copilot with iris i'm gonna first paste in my api key and then let me point to the correct url here this can either be the host name or the ip address of iris and then i'm setting https uh, because that is what iris uses by default you will need to be running at least version uh 2.2 or above um, which you can see in the bottom left of your iris instance so once you log in you'll see the version number that you're currently running uh, so you need to be running at least version 2.2.2 or above. The latest release that they have is version 2.3.7. And then if you are on a version less than 2.2.2, if you go to their website, uh, which I'll link in the description as well, they do have an upgrade guide and it's pretty straightforward. And, and let's save our connector details so we can see that it has been successfully configured. So now, if I select alerts within Iris, You'll see that we have one alert here. Um, we got this Linux DNS query that I just created an example alert. And if we go into SOC on the menu banner, anything related to SOC is going to be related to Iris. So if I select alerts here, the SOC alerts that are loaded are the exact alerts within Iris. If it, the alert exists within Iris, then it's going to pop up here within Copilot. I can select the, the alert ID to get some more meta details such as uh, if there's any notes made for the alert, what customer is tied to the alert. So in this case, we have the customer name of demo, uh, who the owner of the alert is. And in this case, it's the administrative user. I can also assign this to a different user if I wanted as I could assign it, let's say to Taylor, and this will assign the alert to Taylor. I can look at the history of the alert. Um, so here we see that the alert was originally created. Uh, then an alert tag was added, and then we got an asset added. We can now see that the alert owner ID was updated. Now we can see that the owner of the alert is now this Taylor. Any assets that are assigned to this alert, so this would be like endpoints. If I go into the alert within Iris, I can see that value here. What is going to be evident within Copilot is also the cases, uh, users. This will just reflect to the users exactly that you'll see and if they're assigned to alerts. So here we can actually see the Taylor user is assigned uh, to this alert. I can collect that link and get uh, more alert details. If I select cases here, this will pertain to the cases that I have within Iris. And in this instance, I just have the initial demo case, but we can also create cases from our alert. So if I select my alerts here and let's say, all right, this is a true positive. I wanna go ahead and create a case out of this. I can select that create sock case. And what this is gonna also create the case within Iris. So if I refresh, we now see our case uh, has been created. And if I select that case, um, we get some case details about it. We see that the case was uh, created from Copilot. Uh, we get the asset listed out within the assets tab of the case. 
Uh, if there's any notes, um, we'll also see that within Copilot as well. So if I go back to cases, we now see that our new case has been created. I can see my assets. Maybe I want to add a note, for example. Uh, let me just create a note of hello, and I'll just give it content of please subscribe. So maybe I want to make a note of this. You can submit that, and the note will go be added to the case. If I come into Iris, um, we did see that there was an update, and if I refresh, uh, we can see our note has been added to the case. And then I can also see that by selecting the, the notes cap tab within Copilot uh, and seeing the content. Notes you add within Iris will also be reflected uh, within Copilot. Then I can also close cases as well. So once I've done my analysis and I want to go ahead and close this case, if I now refresh on the, the case uh, within Iris, we now see that the case was closed and was closed uh, on this particular date. There's more to come with this integration, such as automating the alert creation within Iris, which I'll get into in a future video. A little sneak peek, if you go into gray log and alert provisioning, uh, you'll see our few template alerts that we have out. When Wazoo has a rule level of greater 11 or above, we're going to create an alert for that specific event, and that alert would be reflected within Iris, and Copilot's actually the one that's going to be doing that under the hood. Out of context for this video, but something to look forward to in the future. That is going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys' time, and I will see you in the next one.